It's a cruel world we live in, so let's talk about it. I want to tell you about a super classic social psychology study published in 1973 concerning the surprising times when people ignore the needs of others. And in particular, it's about when people avoid helping someone in need when they very well could, and maybe should, lend a helping hand. The participants in this study were, of all people, students in Princeton's Theological Seminary. These were students studying to be ministers, which turns out to be important later. In the study, the first part of it was that they recruited these uh, seminary students, and they asked them first to prepare a three to five minute talk about what it means to be a minister. Now, some of the time they were just asked to write a general talk on this topic, but other times they were told specifically to incorporate the parable of the Good Samaritan. Now, if you don't know, the Good Samaritan parable is all about stepping in and helping people in need. That turns out to be important later. After working on their talk for a little bit, a research assistant would come in to say that they'd actually be giving their talk in a building across campus, because there just wasn't enough room in the building they were currently in. And what came next was slightly different for different groups of students. For a third of the students, the research assistant would then say, you won't be giving your talk for another couple minutes, but you might as well head over there now. In other words, no rush, take your time, and head on over. But for another third of the students, the research assistant would say, the assistant over there is ready for you, so you, but you've got to go now. You just got to go now, right? So it's a little more rushed, but still, you know, things are flexible. In the final condition for the final third of the students, the research assistant would say, oh my gosh, you're late. You have to go over there now. So people are very rushed. They're very much in a hurry when they're moving to this other building to give their seminary talk. Cue the incident. That's actually what the researchers call it in their paper. Along the way, from building one to building two, all of the students came across a staged incident. An actor working for the research project was pretending to be slumped over in a doorway with his head down, eyes closed, and he would cough as soon as the students crossed him. In other words, this guy obviously needed some help. And the question was, did these seminary students lend a helping hand. Let's start with the finding that I find most surprising, which if you'll remember, half of the students in the study had been writing a talk that explicitly included a reference to the Good Samaritan parable. In other words, half of these students were thinking about a biblical parable about how virtuous it is to help people in need. And the other half of the students had no idea that the Good Samaritan had anything to do with this study. Nevertheless, these two groups of students did not differ in whether they stopped to help this person. Even thinking about this parable made them no more likely to employ its lesson compared to those who hadn't been thinking about it. The bigger lesson from this study, though, comes from the finding that the students who were in the biggest rush to get to the next building were the least likely to help the person. Even though these were all seminary students who saw themselves as people who wanted to help others, some of them even explicitly thinking about biblical lessons regarding helping behavior, if they were in a rush, they might not even have seen this person, let alone stopped to help. It was the students who were not in a rush, who were told that they could take their time to get to the next part of the study, who were the most likely to lend a helping hand. So in sum, what we see here is a very early, impactful study showing just what can happen when it comes to whether we help other people or not. We are more selfish sometimes than we care to admit, that when we're in a rush, when our priorities are what they are, we don't often stop and notice, let alone try to intervene when someone is clearly in need. All right, well, that does it for this time. Hopefully you learned a very special lesson about altruism, values, and I'm not sure what lesson you're meant to draw from this, but the point really is that this is a landmark study in a field that social psychologists call pro-social behavior. Basically, there's a whole field of psychology devoted to understanding when and why people help each other. There are lots of studies in that world to digest, and maybe we'll talk about them in a future video. But for right now, I'm tired and I'm going to bed, so I will see you all next time. 
For more social psychology, subscribe to this YouTube channel or go to BeAPeopleExpert.com and find new articles every week about psychological science.